One. How's everyone today? Welcome to the Dirt Road Farmer. Sure glad to see you here. Uh, we bought a new field and it has had, I believe it's corn planted in it. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we do have 50% fertilizer, uh, but I'm almost certain that they didn't have the chopped straw mod. I'm, they never do. So uh, the first thing we need to do is come in and mulch it and get the stubble knocked down. You can see the stubble across the ground. So uh, we're going to get the stubble knocked down and uh, then I guess we're going to have to come in and uh, cultivate it. I, I would think. Now I'm not sure. Uh, maybe not. We may not have to cultivate. We'll run a small test and find out. If we use a direct drill, no, this is corn. This was corn. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to have to plow it. All right. Well, that settles that. So, uh, why don't we jump out here and let's make sure. No, it says it was oats. It says it's oats. So we do not have to plow it. Uh, but I would almost bet you that we are going to have to, to cultivate it anyway. Uh, because, yeah, you got to change the ground texture. So, now if we had done this, and we had the chop straw mod, uh, then we would not have to. So, anyway, we're off and running, and we're going to watch this guy and see if we can get this field cultivated. Uh, I'll pull up the HUD, and that is the field right here. And as you can see, it is a odd shaped, I mean, it doesn't get any more odd shaped than this. So, yeah. But anyway, we're slowly working on it. And uh, I did come in here and straighten some of the curves up and had the field running into some of the trees. And I straightened a bunch of that up. So we're going to see if that'll work for us. So, anyway, we're going to watch this guy and make sure he don't end up in the drink or in the trees or wherever. <laughs> uh, anyway, we'll get right back with you. All right. Well, uh, he made it all the way to the end of the field. Uh, doing his center passes and uh, he started back now doing all the rows that he skipped uh, and once he gets that done then he'll do the headland passes and I'm thinking he's got three of those to do so uh, yeah he's doing a great job and yeah, we're just gonna keep our eye on him that uh the reason I don't use this mulcher any more than what I have is I don't think it works right. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't. Whenever he makes a turn like that, it doesn't pick up. He can't pick it up. Therefore, uh, the knives 
the cutting knives back here uh, they continue spinning and it wants to slide so yeah and whenever it slides like that sometimes it misses a little bit but that's the reason I don't use it any more than what I have to so uh, anyway we're just gonna keep our eye on him he's doing a good job and I say he but you know we probably ought to go and just see who's working for us and wouldn't you know it's Linda <laughs> uh, you know I had a viewer uh, he commented on me uh, naming I guess naming my uh, AI workers because uh, <laughs> I did it just to break up the monotony and uh, <laughs> he said well, it's something about working with robots. He said, I guess that's what it's like or something working with robots. But uh, anyway, it's just all in good fun. And uh, <laughs> uh, it just makes it interesting, makes it fun, you know. So, but anyway, we're going to keep our eye on her and we'll get back with you. All right. She is just about to complete her center rows and she'll be getting started on the headland passes. And like I said, I think I give her three of them to do. So uh, this is where she'll <laughs> start making this chopped up looking mess make sense. So or let's put it this way we hope so we hope that's where she starts making it make sense uh, but yes it looks good so far and I have not had to do anything in ways of uh, trying to help her she's done all this on her own Horse play is, they have really stepped it up here in the last few days. Really doing a great job. So, anyway, we're going to let her get these headland passes done. And then we'll probably get a couple of cultivators uh, working in this field. I don't know, see how that mulcher slides around that's why I don't use it so much uh, I don't really think it works right I think he's supposed to be able to pick that up but he can't and even if you uh, if you're operating it you can't pick it up either whenever it unfolds it's on the ground you're going to mulch whatever you're on and uh, that just ain't right but it does get the job done if you've got a big field to do, yes, uh, it'll it'll get the job done. So that's the reason I use it only whenever I have to. All right, she's getting ready to switch over to her last headland pass, and. Uh, I sure wish that mulcher wouldn't slide like it does. Now you see how that missed that right there? Well, that's because of the slope. I'll have to go through and I'll have to fix that. But <clears throat> the field's kind of messed up right there. And uh, And that's why I did that. So it looks like I'm going to have a few places that I'm going to have to go through and touch up. Uh, the real small places, uh, I'm not going to worry much about it. 
<clears throat> at all. Uh, <laughs> it's just not going to make that much difference. Uh, it's like 3% of the yield in that one spot. So, yeah. I don't think I'm going to get too excited about it. Anyway, we're going to let her get on around this field. And then we'll get a couple of uh, cultivators in here. And uh, see what they can do. All right. Well, we've got these two cultivators started. And... Uh, we're going to find out if they're going to uh, be as successful in this field <laughs> uh, as they were in uh, the last field we cultivated. But, uh, I mean, it looks like it. It looks like they know what they're doing. They came up here. They found their first waypoint. And... Uh, and they're getting on with it. So, uh, everything looks good so far. So anyway, we'll just keep an eye on them. Uh, if they'll just maintain their distance, uh, that's gonna be the thing. I've got them set to stay 100 or 250 feet away from one another. And it doesn't really look like they're that much. But, uh, only time will tell so anyway uh, yeah we'll uh, we'll just keep an eye on them make sure they stay on track well these guys are coming across this field uh, they have had uh, a couple of problems nothing real serious uh, uh, they uh, you know they try to maintain their distance and uh, for some reason the distance problem uh, or the distance factor has a problem whenever one of them's got their implement out of the ground uh, and then whenever they put it back in the ground, that's when the other tractor comes on. And, uh, it's like the John Deere up there is standing still right now. Now he'll start moving because this one put his implement down. Well, uh, that's okay. Uh... But it does cause some problems sometimes uh, when it comes to catch up, when one's trying to catch up with the other. So, but like I said, it's nothing serious. It's just like right now, uh, you see what's going on. Of course, now this one here is waiting. And that's okay. Alright, now you need to go, bud. Alright. Uh, they just need to fine-tune it. It's nothing serious. It just needs to be fine-tuned. and I mean, I, I got them stopped and got them on the right track. Kept them from... Uh, running into one another and everything was fine So anyway, they're doing a great job. They've come a long way. You can see up there Whenever they get to the bottom of this field then they'll start their uh, headland passes and They'll have two of them to do So we'll just keep an eye on them All right they're down here to the bottom of the field. <laughs> they have come a long way. And 
You know, a while ago I was talking to you about uh, the problems that they were having and I couldn't think of the words to describe what I was trying to tell you. Uh, but I did finally find the words that I wanted to say. It's like the first tractor loses that second tractor. They communicate all the time, but if that first tractor has to wait very long, it seems like he loses that second tractor and he don't know where he's at. And that's when that second tractor will run up on him uh, because he don't go. He, he, he lost him. And he's not aware that that second tractor is back there. So if that kind of describes what kind of problems that we are experiencing right now. Uh, it's going to be kind of interesting. They're getting close to starting their headland pass. And uh, we just want to make sure... Uh, that they get turned around okay and that they keep in touch with one another they they uh, communicate keep their distance and if they do keep their distance then they're going to be fine because they're finding their waypoints just fine both of them are finding the waypoints just fine uh, it's just that the the uh well i guess the first tractor loses the second tractor and maybe they just lose communication altogether because when that happens the second tractor isn't sensing that the first tractor is in front of him so it's just a fine tune fine tuning thing that they'll get to but my goodness what a world of difference in just a few days uh, with course play, they have just, I mean, they, they've just done a, a great job. So, but anyway, we're going to watch these guys because they are getting very, very close to doing their headland passes. So, we'll watch, see how they get it, get it started. Once they get it started, they're on a roll. They'll do it. And this might even be uh, their last up and down row, maybe. We'll see, though. All right. Yeah, this may be their last up and down row or a cross row center row let's just say center rows uh i don't know but they ain't if it ain't the last one they ain't got but maybe one more to go and what worries me is the fact that they're coming down it to a, a a point like uh i mean it don't worry me uh, they'll either they'll either get it figured out or they'll crash one of the two <laughs> you know <laughs> it don't worry me uh, I just like to see it do real well I, I don't like to see any problems uh, because it's such a wonderful tool I mean just wonderful so Anyway, we're getting down to the nitty-gritty, and we'll keep our eye on these guys. All right, I think they are starting their headland pass right now. Isn't that something? That's amazing how they worked that out. That is absolutely amazing. All right. Well, we'll keep our eye on them. And this is where they're going to make it all come together, all those jagged edges that they made. So, <laughs> it's just unbelievable. I mean, I, I, I know I keep saying that, and 
and to somebody that is uh, techy, tech savvy, uh, this wouldn't be such a big deal, I, I don't guess. But to an old country boy like myself, yeah. This is uh, quite amazing to me. So now they, what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to maintain their distance or they will run up on one another. So, but we'll keep an eye on them. <laughs> they're doing a good job and we're just going to watch them. All right, they are doing a great job. Oh, yeah. And when they get this round done, they'll have one more to go, and they will have completed the whole field. Now, like I said, it, it didn't come without a few problems, but they're minor problems. They weren't problems like we have experienced in the past. These were minor problems, and uh, I think it's just a matter of they lose one another. Uh, so, uh, you know, just some small tweaks to get that taken care of. And, uh, man, they've, they've just come a long way. So, I think it's just absolutely amazing. So, anyway, uh, we're going to let them get on around this field. We're going to try to watch and see that they get their, their headland passes done. And, uh, <laughs> boy, oh boy, take my hat off to these guys, these modders that do, does this. I really do. But anyway, we're going to watch them and uh, make sure they get on their first headland or the last headland pass and uh, we'll see what happens there. All right. Well, they are getting down here to the bottom of the field where they're going to start their uh, last headland pass. And this guy is already cutting over. Uh... Whenever he gets, I'm telling you, this is just amazing to me. Uh, whenever he gets down here to where he's supposed to cut over, he should go all the way over to the end of the field. And then the tractor in back of him will run on the right side of him. If you're looking at it from this way, the tractor in back of him will run on the left side. But uh, if you're looking from behind, it'll be on the right side. And there he goes. Now I'm going to tell you something. This field uh, has got to be a course play nightmare, to be honest about it. I, I'm serious. It's got to be a course play nightmare. Let me bring up the HUD once again in case you're not familiar with the whole picture. Of course, we'll have to wait for it to save. <coughs> Excuse me. But there is the field that we're working on. Look at all of those little... It's a course play nightmare. It, it's just something else. Uh, if they can get course play to work on this map, yeah. <laughs> uh, they ain't gonna have a problem with any map. Just, no, they, they're just not gonna have a problem with any field at all. If they can get this field done. All right, now, I don't know why that guy is backing up, but he is. Uh, 
Well, yeah, I guess he just had to square up a little bit. But we'll watch him. As soon as he puts... All right. All right. The lead tractor didn't lose him, so... Now, there'll be some cleanup. Absolutely. And that is understandable. But for the most part, these guys have, I mean, course play has just done a wonderful job. Uh, I don't know that fields come any more jagged and messed up than this field. But, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a, it's a normal field in real life. But yes, it's a course play nightmare. But anyway, uh, I think we're going to call this a video. These guys will just go right on around, finish the job. Uh, if you've liked this content, please go down there and give me a like. Uh, if you'd like to follow me, go down there and hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a thing. You'll just get a notification every time I post a new video. And it does me a world of good. Uh, if you'd like to share this video with someone that you think would like to see it, please do. Be my guest. Uh, and uh, anyway, I think tomorrow we'll come in here and we'll plant this. I haven't uh, decided what we're going to plant yet. Uh, but I don't know. It, it, I know it won't be corn. That I'm much, and it will not be sorghum. Uh, I know that much. But I'll check the prices on things and see where we're at, and we'll decide tomorrow. But until tomorrow. This is the Dirt Road Farmer, and as always, thank you for watching.